Good morning, Mrs. Smith. How are you today? I am good. I am here for my son. He is having skin rash. Oh, I am so sorry to hear that your child is having skin rash. Try not to worry. I am here to help you. All right, let me have a look at your child first. Sure, nurse. Based on the examination, it appears your son is suffering from a condition known as atopic dermatitis. Have you ever heard of this? No, I haven't. What is it? Okay. I will explain it you. It is an inflammatory skin condition in early childhood. It might be related to allergy. But the exact causes of this condition are still not known. Is it serious? I am really worried about your son. See the rash has become cracked and weepy. I totally understand your concern. Mrs. Smith. Let me reassure you that eczema is a self limiting skin condition. Most children will get better after a short period of time even without any treatment. But of course, with appropriate management, the rash will diminish more quickly. So, could you give me more advice on the treatment options? You know, not only rash, but also itchiness, have made your child feel so uncomfortable. All right. Mrs. Smith. Don't worry. If you can follow my suggestions, John will get much better soon. We have some very effective strategies to cope with atopic dermatitis. I'd like to explain them to you one by one. Is that okay? Yes. Well first, as I said, the rash might be related to allergy and irritation, so please avoid things that may irritate the skin, like soaps, woolen clothes, and so on. And also keep him away from dust and pets, because they are the main sources of allergy. Secondly, Please keep an eye on the food he eats, to find the possible food that may trigger the condition. Especially pay more attention to eggs, milk and wheat. Thirdly, stop your child scratching the rash. It can make it worse. Finally, the doctor might prescribe some skin emollient for your child. You can apply it on the rash, four times a day, to keep the skin moist. That's a good method to control the flare-up. Thank you. What about the future? I mean, will he grow out of it? As I said, eczema is a self-limiting skin condition. When he becomes more mature, this condition will heal and it won't be a problem anymore. What about my other children? Are they likely to suffer from the same condition? Well, unfortunately yes. It is possible, because eczema is familial. If one child has eczema in the family, his siblings may be more likely to have it than other children. But it is nothing to get alarmed about the risk is very low. Is there anything to share with me? No nurse. I hope I have cleared your concern. I will do the arrangements for your prescription. If you need any help please call me at any time. This is my number. Or you can bring back your child for a review after two weeks. Okay. Thank you, nurse.